Okay, I'm gonna try to make this as snappy as possible. Um, I am, just can't get into the long videos and the long introduction. So let's just get into it. And this is from the crew of Kabark. This is what I found. With the bottle feeding, just leave the, the Petco stuff where it is. I tried those little nipples from Petco and the little bottles, didn't work. I tried the sponge bath it, didn't work. I've tried these uh, syringe for feeding, mm, so, sorta, kinda, sorta, took too long. I tried this little commotion that I bought from um, Amazon, waste of money. And uh, what I did find is this is what works. The Browns bottle, you see it, Browns bottle. That is the premium bottle. I got that off of Amazon. I think I got three bottles for like $24. Um, they come with a vent inside that keeps the air out of their tummies, keeps them from the flow from coming too fast, keeps them from aspirating, comes with three different uh, nipple sizes, one, two, and three, phase one, two, and three. I started with one, didn't work. It was going too slow. It was taking me two hours to feed an entire litter. Um, wasn't gonna happen. Um, so I uh, switched out to phase two. And after day two, I took the, um, the green, there's the green, um, it's like a, I don't know, it's an airflow thing, thingy that goes inside of it. I took that out because it kind of didn't need it. Um, I have toy poodles here and this is one of my girls and she weighed in, sorry, mom. She weighed in, her mom's back there having a fit because I'm touching her babies and I'm just trying to do my job and uh, she thinks it's her job. Well, it is her job, but mama has uh, eclampsia. So she can't nurse, she can only uh, nurse the first two days. So they've been on the bottle. They're now eight days old, they've been on the bottle since day two. Um, they got the uh, first two days of the colostrum and uh, I had to take over from there. But um, I found nothing else that works. Like I said, the uh, Browns bottle and if I can get the camera, my little stinky poop, if I can get my phone here. So bear with me. I wasn't, I guess I should have had my tripod, but I don't had ah, a little one. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get it in her. She may not really be hungry, but uh, I lied. So you, you can't really be as gentle with them. There you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's got a dirty face, a stinky face. But uh, as you can see, she, she got right into it. Um, you think they're so tiny that their mouths uh, won't fit on that big nipple? Yes, it will. You just gotta um, kind of wrestle with them at first. Um, but what I did find was um, my grandma, I'm third generation uh, poodle breeder. And what I did find uh, is an old school trick my grandma used to use. She used to dip the nipple inside of a little, just a drop of Cairo syrup. They latched on immediately, like they like the sweetness from that. And it also kind of keeps their bowels loose, but I didn't have that problem because when I first put them on the, and if I'm saying it wrong, forgive me, Esabilac, that's what I use. I don't use the goat's milk and all that. More power to you if you do. It gave mine diarrhea just a little too bad. And so I'm just used the Esabilac. But uh, at first they had diarrhea. They did, they had the diarrhea. And uh, so I, uh, but it went away, you know, it wasn't bad. It was more of loose stool. And then they were constipated. So you have to make sure that uh, you're watching uh, the amount that you're giving them because they're not on the teat anymore. So uh, I think I was overfeeding them at first. First I was underfeeding them because they weren't getting enough out of those two small nipples and all that. So then I was overfeeding them. So I, you really have to be careful and kind of measure what they're getting. But if, as you can see, if you don't, lift that up too high 